Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Jack Lucia, uh, K2OSU. And he says, how do you use an antenna analyzer with an antenna tuner to tune a dipole? I can only find one YouTube video and it was not clear to me how to do it. I have a Rig Expert AA35 and an MFJ 949E antenna tuner. Thank you. And this is from Jack K2OSU. Well, before we jump into that question, I'd like to uh, give a special thank you to Kelly K1SOE for being my newest patron. And thank you very much for that. You too can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og. So let's take a look at how to answer this question. First we'll draw a diagram. That's always useful. We have a uh, analyzer. Okay. And this goes to a tuner that we want to use with an antenna. It doesn't matter what antenna is. So they're hooked up in this. Normally, this right here, you would, after doing this, you would take this off of the analyzer and hook it on the back of the radio. Okay? So this part is what would go here. The tuner stays in the circuit, and the analyzer comes out of the circuit. Okay? You don't ever want to transmit into an analyzer. It would be very bad for it. Okay? So... Radio tuner antenna or analyzer tuner antenna. And if you tune this with an analyzer, it will be ready to accept the radio on that frequency. Okay. So, what I have done here, if we move this out of the way, <clears throat> I have a tuner here. This is the cable that goes from the ICOM 7300 out to the antenna. Let's pick an antenna. Let's see what we've got here. We've got uh, D is the big IR. Okay. Uh, and over here, F is the hex beam. So let's put it on the hex beam. Okay. Now, the hex beam is a multiple uh, band antenna. Now here's my rig expert. It's a different model uh, from what Jack has, but we're going to use this on 20 meters. Okay, so let's um, turn this on uh, here. Okay, and we're going to do an SWR chart. Check the OK, and we're going to do it on 20 meters. So we'll just go ahead and click OK, and it's doing it. And notice it's terrible. Okay, absolutely terrible. It's terrible because the antenna analyzer is not tuned. Well, now this doesn't allow us to do much. So what we actually want to do when we look at the functions uh, here, let's see. We want to get an SWR meter. Okay. So here's an SWR meter. Press OK to start. Okay, now it's showing terrible. Now let's start looking at the antenna analyzer here. Okay, and let's start moving these things around and look at what we've done already. Okay, we've got that down to uh, 1.4. Let's move this other one. You've got to be looking kind of at both of these. So let's try and get this so you can actually see that. Okay. And then as we move the knobs back and forth, then we move the other knob. Okay. And we get down, down. Let's try the other knob a little bit. And we might try a different setting on the um, 
and that's not going to help. We're going to need to have that on C. Let's write D. Oh, look at this. Okay. And we're down to 1.51. Let's try the other one here. Whoops. Oh. It looks to me like this is about the best we're going to get. And this is fine right here. Okay, that's, and you can wiggle these. Now, you will not be able to get an exact match because this is not a roller inductor. It is one where you take different tap points on the inductor. So for a given tap point, as you turn this, you'll see the, um, and it's very sensitive. Okay. You're trying to find the lowest and so you find the lowest where you can go. Okay, now if we were done this with this, we could turn this off now and connect this to the radio. And the radio would be within its SWR range uh, to work. Now normally if you're using an external tuner, you would not use the internal tuner on the radio. Now, by the way, the, ex the internal tuner on the radio is perfectly capable of handling this particular antenna. I'm just showing it with the external antenna. So, analyzer into tuner, tuner to antenna. Okay, and then when you're done, you take this off the analyzer, put it on the back of the radio, and operate. And this has a built-in SWR indicator, which it does over here, then you can tweak it a little bit every time you change frequency. Tweak this every time you change frequency here. Now, I would recommend if you have a modern rig and the uh, antenna's um, regular SWR, let's look at what the SWR of this antenna is without the tuner. Okay, we just took the tuner out of the system. And we're going to turn it on. Okay, and we're going to go, okay, SWR meter. Press that to start. Okay, it's 1.74. Okay, and if we were to now uh, go back to the menu. Wherever the menu is in here. Okay. We're going to go up to the SWR chart, okay, and okay, and now we see that the actual lowest impedance is below 20 meters, so this antenna is just a titch long, but it's well within what the tuner inside the ICOM 7300 can handle, okay? So, there you go. So, Jack, I hope I answered your question. You use the tuner, then the, uh, I'm sorry, use the analyzer, then the tuner, and then connect it to the antenna. Then you disconnect the cable from the um, analyzer and put that onto the radio so that the tuner is still uh, in the connection between the two. So I hope that answers your question. There you have it. Uh, for any of you who'd uh, like to assist my channel financially, you may do so by going to dkassler.com slash support which offers additional ways you can support the channel and please subscribe and please click like and until we next meet 73